Okay, this is a retake of the um, Charlie Plexed RGB pixel demo. I have 90 pixels here connected in six rows of 15 pixels each. This is just a string of Charlie Plexed dumb pixels here. The only thing they are connected to is a 28 pin pick. Uh, with some transistors and resistors there and power supply. The first half of these effects only turn on one pixel at a time and it uses persistence of vision to give the effect of having multiple pixels on. There is a limit, a practical limit there and uh, these effects here are just turning on about four pixels at a time. Uh, and these ones here turn on eight at a time. That's pretty much the limit you want to turn on at, um, without having multiple pixels on at the same time. These are just some uh, little comment effects similar to some of the other projects. Okay, now this is the second set of effects this is turning on more than one pixel at a time and it's uh, rapidly scanning the entire string turning on groups at a time uh, kind of like multiplexing but for Charlie plexed pixels then these are just some sample effects that I programmed Right now it's, stand it's running standalone. Uh, eventually it'll probably be hooked up to Vixen, but for demo purposes this is good enough. There was a ghosting problem up until recently, but I think that's pretty much fixed now. What you see there on top of the lights is not ghosting, that's a reflection of the light uh, up above there. <coughs> Okay, so now it's, it went back to repeat the first set of effects again. As you can see, each individual pixel is addressable. This is turning on one at a time. I only have the, the basic primary colors implemented. Um, with a red, a blue, and a green LED, you can also make magenta, cyan, yellow, and white. So I have just the basic seven colors there at the moment. Just just enough to kind of show the capabilities of the string. Now I'm using a 90 milliamp pick, so it does not it cannot turn on a whole group of pixels at a time. So I've had to um, divide the duty cycle down further than what it would normally be. Uh, right now it's running at a 1 out of 18 duty cycle. Which is not too bad. Uh, these are not super bright LEDs but they're not too bad. Uh, if I was running it with a, like a 200 or so milliamp microcontroller then I wouldn't have to subdivide it so I could get one out of six duty cycle. These are Piranha style four pin LEDs. Color mixing is pretty good. It's not completely uniform like you'll see some green-blue variations on the cyan and on the yellow you see some red-green variations. I guess from a distance it's not too bad but up close it doesn't look quite as good. And there is actually a tiny bit of ghosting left there Actually, it's not ghosting. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It tends to be the reds stay on a little bit. You can just see a very faint glow. 
I'm not going to worry about that, though I think it's uh, not it's not visible from any distance. So thanks for watching.